Hey everybody, and welcome to the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. I am Bill, the company's expert, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about the questions that recruiters should ask in job interviews, but don't. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one. Um, you know, I have spoken recently about how job interviews are ineffective. And what I mean is when you look at the statistics, you look at metrics like employee retention or employee performance or even things like employee satisfaction. OK, this is where the data points to. OK, this is further evidenced by how at higher levels, uh, when hiring mid-level managers, executive managers and so on, recruiters are not used to make selections generally speaking, for, for those type of jobs. Um, recruiting is simply a mechanical job that involves creating a short list of candidates uh, that meet the stated requirements, okay? That's usually what recruiting is. Um, at lower levels, recruiters will uh, make decisions and assess the different candidates, but at higher levels, they are not allowed to. That's reserved for hiring managers. Um, yeah, like the actual assessment of the candidate and the selection of the finalist is done by the hiring manager and just hopefully everybody knows what a hiring manager is. Uh, they are usually the boss of whoever is hired, right? Now, full disclosure, okay, perhaps I'm being a little unfair to recruiters because it is a tough challenge to assess a person's suitability for a job. It really is. Um, and it doesn't help that recruiters want to assess a candidate without having to learn anything about them. Uh, there's just no time. And you can argue that this would be impractical, uh, you know, especially for lower level jobs. OK, you can't really wine and dine people and really get to know them. It's just not possible. Um, but I would put forward that if you really want to assess a candidate for a lower level job, OK, look at the reasons that workers underperform and the reasons why workers quit jobs, okay? Perhaps recruiters should ask questions like the following, okay? Number one, tell me about a time you were unappreciated in a job, but yet you stayed for the long term and outperformed regardless, okay? Give me the answer to that one. Do you think it's okay for a boss to be incompetent yet remain in their position? You know, that would be something to ask. Uh, do you find it acceptable to be hired for one job, yet be assigned completely different job duties than your original offer letter? Hmm? I'm sure more than one person has experienced that. How about, tell me about a time you were paid below your market value, yet you stayed in that job for several years. Okay, or perhaps... Is it okay for coworkers to not support a colleague or treat them with respect? You know, I'm sure no one's experienced that as a normal part of their job. Uh, or you could ask, in your opinion, should a job give one a sense of purpose and fulfillment? You know, or finally, you could ask something like, is office politics something with which you're comfortable? <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously I'm being tongue in cheek here, right? Uh, but many years ago, you know, before I became a manager, uh, the places I, I've worked, okay, um, these would de definitely determine who would thrive there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so... Obviously, I kind of say this in jest, but not really. You know, I think that if anyone actually were to ask these kind of questions, and I understand the reasons why, you know, you might not. I understand the barriers to being able to ask these. But um, if you could ask these, I think they would give a much better assessment of whether that candidate is going to thrive in that position or not. Anyway, food for thought. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. I'm honestly uh, interested to hear your reaction to this. I'm sure this is going to divide people, but um, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for listening. You guys are awesome, and I hope to hear you uh, or see you on the next episode of the Ultimate Job Search and Career Podcast. Take care.